Hello guys, this is Julia, and today in this video, I have something very important to talk about, which is this new ransomware spreading around called WannaCrypt. So, on Saturday, which is yesterday, I heard about it mainly, but I think I heard about it a little bit on Friday too, about this new ransomware that su supposedly was created from the exploits that was released by the NSA because they had exploits that got leaked out on the web which meant hackers were able to access them and basically use their exploits and their software to basically mess up everyone's computers. So basically what a ransomware is, is like malware or a virus that demands you pay, to pay money to decrypt your files and to get all your files back, which it asks for $300 and then by a day or two, it moves up to $600, and then after a couple more days, your files are gone, which if you get any kind of ransomware, including this one crypt virus, I recommend not paying the ransom because most likely you're not even going to get your files back. They just want your money. So this talks about what it is. This is what it kind of looks like here, and it's infected. It's, in, it's been going around in 150 countries. This is what it looks like, and it it's a ransomware and wants you to pay in bitcoins and um, it encrypts every file on your computer and there's no traces of the decryption key inside the computer so technically it's really hard to get your files back in fact chances are you're probably not going to get your files back after seven days it deletes everything and then after I think it said after three days it moves the price up which do not pay just consider your files gone because your files are gone and take it to a computer shop immediately make sure you turn your computer off too as soon as you get it because this virus does network spread on your network and if any other computers are on your net network it's going to infect them it says it's been stopped but actually there's a one encrypt version 2.0 this is just an older article i'll show you to protect yourself you need to update your windows immediately microsoft has released a patch for this and if you install it the exploit is no longer there, therefore you probably won't get affected by this. As you can see, this is the the update, which is Security Bulletin MS17010. It's critical, and if you scroll down, they have updates even for Vista, which is unsupported. Windows Server 2008, Windows 7, Windows Server 2008 R2, Windows 8.1, Windows Server 2012 and 2012 R2, RT8.1 and Windows 10, Server 2016, Server Core, um, and I heard they even updated Windows XP, even though it's lost support on April 8th of 2014, like really Microsoft? So that's how bad it is, at least they're being nice, and there's a, probably a lot of countries that still run Windows XP, a lot of those more poor countries that can't afford a newer operating system, so they have to, they're, they're kind of forced to use it. So, they even updated here, you could see, they updated Windows 10, the original version, even build 10240, um, 1511, and 1607. And if you're on the creator's update 1703, you're for sure alright. But still, run your Windows updates. Here's how you do it. Go to your Start menu. Go to your Settings. This is how you do it on Windows 10. Go to Update and Security, and then your Windows Update. Check for updates immediately. If it needs to reboot to install updates, reboot, go back in here, click check for updates again. Legit check for updates until your computer says up to date because this is a very serious issue and you do not want to get this ransomware, especially since it can infect your whole network. And basically this is about what it is. See, there's a 2.0 and this is just basically an article about it. I'll put all these articles in the description. It talks about it's a ransomware, it demands money to get your data, which you're probably not going to get your data back because chances of them sending you the decryption key is very slim because they just want your money and you probably won't get it. So it's not worth it. I would just consider your data gone and there's so far no way to actually decrypt it right now. So it's spreading everywhere. There's a 2.0. They're demanding $300. This is what it looks like. We can see what it looks like right here. It's even put some a company's attack and attacked them for ransom. So you do not want to see this on your computer. This is a very bad screen. In fact, if you see this, shut your computer down 
immediately. Otherwise, it could really get worse. So, people are saying it's even, it's even attacked, oh, reload, okay. It's, um, even attacked hospitals. So, this is the hospital, which is what it attacked. I think that's what that picture was. And the worst part is, I mean, when, when it's attacking a hospital, they have to, they can't take care of all the patients because the computer is all, have the ransomware and they're losing all their records and they have backups, but to get it all back up and running, it's pretty serious and basically this is really bad because it's life threatening, especially attacking hospitals because especially also since it's network spreading and if you have the update in from March, so Microsoft released a patch for this in March, so if you have the updates, you should be good. Just make sure you check your updates. See, I'm up to date there. And, I mean, this is just the, probably one of the worst vi network spreading viruses I've ever seen. I mean, a network spreading virus that even encrypts your data and demands money? Like, this is not good. So, this is how they're saying they even patched Windows XP against these attacks, which they even, they ended support in 2014. But this was so bad that they legit sent an update out to XP. And here's even a video of a demonstration of the virus. Um, how to remove it, but I don't think you're going to still be able to get your files. But you could watch these videos also if you'd like. More of what it looks like. And basically, I, I'll, yeah, I'll put all these links in the description for you to read all this. Even the link to... The updates here but you could just check your windows updates and if you have like windows 7 or 8.1 and you have the glitchy broken update system i recommend using this the windows update fixer bob pony because bob pony made a windows update fixer and this program works very well it fixes broken updates in windows 7 and 8 and 8.1 so I'll, i can put a link to this in the description as well this is a very good tool and you should always keep your windows up to date because of these exploits security vulnerabilities and you're probably wondering why aren't the hospitals and banks and businesses not updated the reason why is because they don't have the time or the money to hire IT people to update them besides they can't really have very much downtime especially in hospitals because they're taking care of patients which I really think they should, if they can, try to always stay up to date or update the computers when they're not using them because this is very serious and I don't want people getting these viruses and hacks. So, as you can see, this they say ransomware has hit over 100,000 organizations in 150 countries. Um, their, their version 2.0 is will likely remove the flaw to be able to stop it and you're only safe if you patch ASAP so you should patch immediately they patched older outdated operating systems from this this is that one article I was reading and they're saying supposedly if you're on Windows 10 I heard you're not affected but that's not necessarily true it's only if you're on the creators update that you're safe on Windows 10 if you're on an older version like anniversary update November update or the original RTM version you are affected by this. So you need to update immediately. I recommend updating to the Windows 10 Creators Update. If you're on Windows 10, you don't have it. If you want to know if you're on it, you could go to your Settings, System, About, which mine's newer because I'm on the Windows Insider program, but the build should be 15063, which is the Creators Update. So make sure you're on that version immediately if you're not and you know how to update is in here or you could use the Windows 10 upgrade assistant or the media creation tool to upgrade and also this is a little video that shows an, a demonstration of a computer infecting another computer on a network so this is just a demonstration here showing how it works so this is just this is just really bad and you you need to update the update pretty much immediately
because it's gotten so bad at this point. It just keeps spreading like wildfire. Like, I heard 2.0 isn't really stoppable right now. They stopped the first version. Apparently someone registered their DNS or something, which stopped it temporarily. But they had a 2.0 version, and it's spreading like crazy again. So my advice, want to stay protected, get the latest Windows updates immediately. If your updates don't work, get the Windows update fixer. It doesn't, this doesn't work in 10, though. But if you do want to fix Windows updates in Windows 10, is what you do is you go to Administrator Command Prompt, type net stop W-U-A-U-S-E-R-V to stop the Windows Update service. Go to C, Windows Software Distribution, delete everything in it. If it all doesn't delete, stop the service again because it should all delete. And then reboot your computer and check for updates, and that should fix any Windows Update errors on Windows 10. So there's just a little tip right there. Well, anyways, I'm going to wrap this video up. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you guys update immediately. Please share this video around or this news around so everyone is aware of this because this has gotten so bad that everyone needs to know about it, like, immediately because this is just super bad. And always back up your files, too. Make sure you have an antivirus. Don't click any random links. And be careful of what networks you connect to. Don't connect to any public networks right now. I wouldn't at all, even if you have the latest patches, because I still don't think they're safe. Okay, anyways, thanks for watching. Update as soon as possible right after this video. And hopefully you guys don't get the virus. And if you know anyone that did, let me know, because maybe I could try to help. My guess is just turn it off immediately and maybe put it somewhere where there's no internet or take it to a shop or just completely reinstall Windows and erase everything because I would not trust it after that. Alright guys, that's all I have for you today.